what you guys are about to see is a really cool clip and a really good, ex I guess, example of hunting on tight properties in suburban areas. Um, this was a place that we've been hunting for a long time, and I've never had a deer run in the direction that it did. So check this clip out. Being that this is a really tight property, I was trying to be as inconspicuous as possible, so I really didn't get a ton of B-roll of me getting in and out of the truck and climbing up and down the tree. So I'm gonna take you right to the footage of where I'm in the tree and the deer are coming in. Well, I had a pretty good morning this morning. I was hunting, I'm at my truck right now, but I was hunting right down here, like this purple tree that's right here. I was 40 yards away from it. Um, and I had a couple deer come in and they were blowing at me. And if anybody knows me, when a deer blows at me and I have a tag in my pocket, it's canceled Christmas. So I took a shot on this deer, hit it well. Um, and it bled like crazy and ran all the way up here right to my truck, I thought. Um, when I got up here, I see the blood trail actually crosses the road. And this is one of the, one of the issues you have with suburban hunting is that um, when a deer, <laughs> when you shoot a deer, a lot of times they go off property. So I'm gonna have to knock on some doors again. This is the second hunt in a row that I've had to knock on doors just because these properties are so tight. But you can see right here in the road. Blood trail crosses and goes right. The blood trail crosses and goes right to that house. Um, I'm sure the deer's dead. Uh, but I do have to knock on doors. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time I'm gonna drive around the neighborhood just to make sure it didn't pop out on the road and It's not sitting out there dead um, Where people can see it um, and then I'm gonna go knock on some doors after about 30 minutes and uh, go retrieve the deer That didn't go as planned um, I went and knocked on the door and no one was home so I decided to go around the neighborhood and see if there were any, see if the deer was laying in somebody's yard that I could see that it, you know didn't just go through the property and and uh, go to one of the houses behind it. Um, it wasn't, um, 
So and since the neighbor or since the landowner wasn't home, I figured I would go up and get a cup of coffee, and come back and um, see if you know I, I see if they were home. Well, as soon as I pulled up, um, I saw the neighbor pulling into her driveway. So I walked up and handed her my card. Um, she wasn't happy. She wasn't happy at all, and I, I feel terrible because uh, she was upset. Um, she asked me. She said, "Are you the guy?" hunting in this area and I, I said yes ma'am and I didn't even get to talk and she immediately said um, well there's a dead deer in my in my yard right now and when you pull up her driveway you can't see it from the road but when you uh, pull up her driveway uh, close to the house the deer was laying there um, there's no way I could have recovered it um, you know when, when she wasn't there anyway because I didn't have permission to uh, to get onto her property but Anyway, she was she was really really upset and um, just said that you know my kids play around here and you know, there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood and and I just I, I let her say what she wanted to say and um, I didn't want to argue with her or anything else. Uh, um, I've got up the permissions to hunt you know where, where I'm hunting and um, the deer are extremely overpopulated in this area, but I. I try to be as inconspicuous as possible, but it, you know, things like this do happen sometimes. And uh, I, I can't think of anything that, that I could do differently. Um, on this property, uh, typically when you shoot a deer, they run, they run to a creek. Um, but this one ran the opposite way, it ran right towards the road. And I mean, it's only probably 50 yards to the road and well, it crossed the road and went on to the other side and went behind her house and then kind of button hooked around and, and died in her in her yard but oh man I feel really bad she was upset <sighs> which doesn't make me feel good um doesn't help our cause as as hunters uh it doesn't really help um you know our image as hunters either and to the to the non-hunting public um I don't know it, it in hindsight, I can't think of anything differently that, that I could have done. Um, the deer was shot well, shot right through the heart. Um, uh, maybe if it was double lunged and maybe a little bit higher, it would have expired sooner. But I mean, in total, it only ran, I mean, I mean, less than a hundred yards in, in, in total. Um, just unfortunate where it landed and that, you know, I wasn't able to, uh, wasn't able to retrieve it without um, without people, you know, getting upset over seeing seeing a dead deer, especially in their yard when they're not expecting it. So, um, and I don't know what kind of a lesson I can learn from this because some of these properties are just tight. This is an extremely small property. I mean, it's it's bound to happen. But like I said before, typically these deer run to the creek or, or run down the creek or onto the parkland where. Um, you know where, where we can retrieve them with without issue and without incidents but this is one of those rare occasions where uh, it, it didn't go as planned um, so um, I'm not discouraged from hunting but I'm definitely going to give that property a break uh, for a little while and talk to the landowner and see if there's a place that I can park that's a little more inconspicuous because I don't want to park uh, in the same area that I parked in today because the neighbors will probably be pretty upset again. So, um, uh, anticlimactic, um, hunt today. I mean, I, I did get a deer, but just the way that I had to recover, it really put a damper on everything today. I guess it's appropriate for a gloomy overcast day, but, um, anyway, <sighs> on to the next one. As you guys can see from that video, it doesn't always go the way that you plan it. And for the countless deer that, that we've shot in these urban properties, sometimes it doesn't go the way that you want. Um, that doesn't mean that we're gonna stop and quit and things like that. We're still gonna go after it. Um, you just have to be prepared and have a plan of action in case something does go wrong. So keep following, hit like, hit subscribe to the Hunt Urban channel. We're gonna have a ton more content coming your way. It's gonna be cool. Thanks.